Hello guys and welcome once again to my channel. If you have been here and if you haven't, it is so very kind of you to pass by. I hope that you hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed, make sure that your notifications are on because otherwise you probably will not get notified when I upload and then you may never know when there's a new video. So I'm looking a little rough right now because as you can see by the title, I'm going to be mixing all of my foundations today, which is such a popular video and I know I'm super behind, but... I don't know I like never wanted to do it until now I don't I don't know why also between changing my lights and then getting sick right after I feel like I haven't been on camera in so long so <laughs> yeah it feels a little weird what do you guys think of the lights though I think that it looks so clear so good and I'm kind of obsessed anyway if you want to see me mixing all my foundations then just keep on watching So here are all of my foundations, all of them are right here in the drawer that is right in front of me. So I'm going to show you like what I'm going to be putting in the little mixture of all of my foundations. We are not going to be including like CC creams. So this one from Cargo can just go to the side and also this one from It Cosmetics can just go to the side. We also will not be including any stick foundations because that doesn't make sense. So these two from ABH and Hourglass can just chill here for a little bit. I think the rest of them are liquid. Okay, so here are all of my foundations. I have taken them out of their drawer. So this is what we have going on. These are all of my liquid foundations. Um, <laughs> I'm a little scared to be honest because some of them are like completely different shades and I don't know how this is gonna turn out like this one I know that I never liked the shade of it I kept returning it and getting like other shades but I just I was never satisfied that's why I never even use it and it is so expensive by the way and then yeah they're mixed like drugstore high-end they're just all mixed but let me just really quickly go over like all of the foundations like what they are and then we're going to mix all of them into this little bowl and then put everything on my face, I guess. Here we have the MAC Pro Lower Foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, the Fenty Beauty, the Hourglass Immaculate, the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin, the Revlon Color Stay, the Clinique Even Better, the L'Oreal True Match, the Luck Color Locked Good Foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way, Maybelline Madden Poreless, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, Tarte Amazonian Clay, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, Revlon H Defying, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, and finally the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Foundation, which I have never even used on its own. I bought it for my mom because she likes it. And this ended up being too light for her so she gave it back because i am usually a shade lighter than her but i've never used this but i'm going to add it to the mixture so i have my little bowl here i'm going to put as little of each as i can because there's a lot of them and it will like add up and multiply really fast and then i'm going to be mixing everything with this this is from pure it came with one of their like eye polishes but it makes like a perfect little spatula. I was just going to add this one and I realized it is a BB cream, so I won't be adding it. Okay, we're back I have all of my foundations mixed in here and I also have all my foundations back there and then I'm going to be applying this with a buffing brush that's just the way that I do with all of my foundations I also won't be applying any primer just so that the properties of the primer don't like affect any of the foundations or anything like that and I also will be setting everything with my Too Faced Born This Way powder I usually just use this like under my eyes and then I'll use like a heavier setting powder for the rest of my face but again just so that I don't change anything about any of the foundations I just will be using the same translucent powder all over my face so yeah let's just I guess get right into this this looks 
it looks like it's going to be pretty full coverage the color looks pretty good which i was so scared about because all of those foundations just have like so many different shades you know warm and neutrals and lighter and darker and just all over the place so far so good it looks like it has really full coverage it feels so thick too that is all of the foundations on this side of my face i think the color looks pretty good the foundation feels so thick though like so thick and not exactly in a good way like right now after i put it on it doesn't i don't know it feels a little sticky but i did just put it on so maybe just need some time i don't know it looks good though it looks like it has a really really good coverage it looks good so here it is all of my foundations on my face and wow this is what you call full coverage this is pretty intense actually um i also don't have any other makeup on my face so it looks everything it just looks like really flat and just you know so let me just finish the rest of my face and then we'll come back and and talk about this foundation okay so here it is here is all of my foundations on my face <laughs> i did set it with a translucent powder like i said i put just like some mascara brows and some lipstick and i did use my little um becca trio so bronzer blush and a little bit of highlight just right here and that is how i look i think i look pretty flawless i have to say everything just looks like very put together very like covered you know what i mean but like i said it does feel a little bit heavy after i set it it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that but it is now 1 52 pm and i'm going to go have lunch and then i'm going to be like wearing it and then i'll come back and, and show you guys like how it looks after maybe like two hours three hours something like that it looks better on camera than in person though i have to say that in person it looks a little bit heavy but on camera it looks flawless it looks so good so yeah i'll just come back in a few hours and just show you how everything is looking so here we are it is now 4 49 p.m there we go you can see it better and it's now been what like three hours since i applied it this foundation and this is what i look like now i have to say i'm a little bit shiny like here here maybe a little bit on my nose but other than that i think the foundation still looks pretty good still looks very much flawless on the screen it's except for like a little bit of creasing under my eyes but that has nothing to do with the foundation right but in person it, it just looks very heavy and just you know like i've been wearing it for way longer than i have but then again all my foundations are like matte and for oily skin like i don't have any like dewy foundations or like natural looking foundations maybe like two of them but that's about it so it doesn't surprise me that it looks this heavy if you have like a good balance between the two then you may have better luck with this experiment but this is it for me it was fun it was fun to do this it was just a fun video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this silly video then please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already i appreciate it so 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 much and yeah have a happy tuesday or wednesday not sure when this is going up but again thank you so much for watching